cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in lld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now so we are now so we are now going to look at flyweight design pattern which is the last one of our design patterns flyweight design patterns as we saw also in the beginning uh, in the structural design pattern intro it is simply for managing memory usage flyweight you know reducing the weight reducing the memory footprint for for example we have a multiplayer game right in that you have different particles and there are literally thousands of particles you have multiple bullets explosions visual effects and so on and so forth but you will see that every particle object will have its own positions velocity appearance but some things can be same for example in appearance many things can be same in appearance obviously their position will be different their velocity will be different and that's reason they are different particles altogether but some things can be same in appearance right that is the thing that yeah like it is it says that creating of separate objects for each particle would consume a lot of memory especially to give new appearance to them and ultimately giving us a lot of memory consumption obviously when the memory consumption is very high you will have a poor system performance for the same uh, you know performance engine which you have and whenever the things are large which you, which means you have a lot of objects you have a lot of garbage collection as well and thus the overhead will increase on garbage collection which means taking your more cpu time for example you have a particle a particle has you know its appearance color sprite and then its coordinates and its velocity obviously coordinates and velocity will be different so this is something which can be different but the sprite and color can be same now from now onwards there is a small catch that in java string if we just put up the string literal then it stores in the string memory like uh, string pool which which we have so imagine that not i'm not having a string here i'm having a sprite class here let's say i'm not having a string color here i'm having a color class here. imagine class again why i'm saying because in java if you write let's say string rn then if you use this string again obviously it will pick up from a string pool but if you write new string rn then it will make a new string r and take a reference from it so as to indicate that different classes can be there again see my entire essence is just to show you the duplication and showing you that memory will increase with the same name but obviously in java if you have the same literal then obviously that stores in the string pool and thus the memory will not increase technically even if you have the same name again and again so as to counter that statement i am right now saying imagine it is a class and having something inside it and i am making that with the help of new okay let's proceed forward so what will happen when i make a new particle obviously i mentioned the position will be there right the speed will be there but its corresponding color and its sprite will be different now again as i mentioned it's a string literal but 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 in java obviously it will be in the uh, you know string pool but make sure that right, imagine i'm referring them as a new imagine it's a class and then you have to initialize that class itself imagine that part okay cool let's proceed forward so what happened here obviously you will have new classes and again red is a color right it can be for many such particles same way the same explosion dot png it can be for many such particles although i know that these things will be different so i will have to make a new particle but still these things can be same right yes it can be so what i will do obviously i will have to get rid of it why because this is giving me memory wastage obviously there is a object overhead as well because i will create thousands of objects and that will put a pressure on my garbage collection as well and again because of everything which means giving pressure to my garbage collection and all that stuff i will incur a very poor performance so how to go about it obviously let's take and let's see how we can improve the code so we will use a separate shared state from our extrinsic state this is a unique state so if you see that if a position is different 
if a velocity is different it's a unique state but i have some shared state inside the inside it which is the appearance so i'll go ahead with that and i'll say that i'll support different type of particles but i will have with a shared state which means the shared properties will never be duplicated that's the thing and that's the entire crux of this so what you could end up doing is that rn i will cache so i'll take a sprite cache and i will cache my specific sprite Again, right now, as I again mentioned, imagine that these are not strings, right? You are just getting rid of strings entirely and imagine these are classes for now. Again, in the code uh, portion, in the notes, uh, I will correct it down, which means here I will correct it down. But yeah, imagine that these are corresponding classes which you have. So obviously you are caching it and then you might say, I have cached it down. And so whenever I will call it, I will check if I have already there or not. And then I will call it. I'll say, yes, you did the correct thing. You are now reusing the corresponding state, whatever you have. But first thing is that whenever you are creating a particle, you are doing everything, which means caching, you're doing it manually. And this is something which should not be done, which means LLD always says delegate the task. So I'll do one thing. I'll delegate the task to someone else. And again, someone else will make my course, you know, if someone else will make sure that they will make my sprite object. Again, I'm saying object. Why? Because I'm, I'm assuming that you have replaced it with a corresponding object. And I'm saying, okay, replace with a sp uh, sprite object. And then if it's already there, then reuse that. If not, then make a new one. So with the help of that, obviously we can improve it. But the thing is that why this code was very bad, obviously it has a complex management. Like you will have to do manage everything by yourself. It's very bad. And you will end up duplicating the code as well. If someone else has to do the same thing. So make sure that you get these things somewhere else. And again, it's kind of a partial solution because you, if you remember, I mentioned that uh, I can, my color can also be duplicated. So, and again, obviously because of this complex management, it has a limited scalability. So how to go about this? Obviously I will use my proxy or uh, flyweight design pattern. So it says that, okay, everything which is a shared state, intrinsic state, for example, color, sprite, making them as objects, make sure that part, they can be shared among different particles. And again, uh, the properties like velocity, position, these are unique to each and every particle. Now, what I will do, I will have a particle type. So this is basically a flyweight, which will be common amongst all the particles. So I will say that, okay, these are my color and sprite, and these I will just simply initialize, you know, all these corresponding methods which I have, okay. Now I will say that I will not create duplicate flyweights. Like I will not create so if you remember creating some things, it's a task of what? It's a task of creational design pattern, which is the factory. So I made a factory. Again, the logic of flyweight is just to avoid duplication. No matter what, here I'm using a simple flyweight, which will be there just once. There will not, there will be no scenario in which a color and slide will be duplicated. Cool. Now, I will ask my factory and say that bro, remember, that for a specific combination of color and sprite, just cache it, again, caching in a map. And then if you already have it, then give it. If not, then make a new particle, make a new flyweight. If you have it, then give the existing one. If not, then make a new one. And that is how I can do the exact caching. And now it is, now again, the entire logic is now catered towards, you know, Everything is outside of my actual class. So my particle, rather than now having, you know, uh, its own corresponding color and sprite, I will have now particle type, which is now reference to my flyweight and say that now I will reference this flyweight and will simply put up. So how things will happen in the main, I will say that explosion type, which is, you know, using the shared flyweight now. So for red and explosion.png, I will have one unique flyweight just made once anyone else which means any new particle making the same explosion type which is uh, red in explosion will actually use the same exact explosion type with not duplicating which means with not making a new one for them obviously particle will be new but explosion type will be used which is already referenced for us 
Again, if you see this code, you will see that this is not very much extensible code because what if in future I want to add something else in my particle, I want to, you know, cache something else also, things can become a bit dicey. But again, as I mentioned that if you add something in the particle, then you will make another class in which you have another attribute and thus you can make another flyweight as well. You know, you can uh, make another factory as well. You can make another particle type as well for your corresponding needs or Again, there are multiple ways to improvise this code. That's the reason I mentioned specifically that this code can be much more extensible for extensibility portion. But the essence of this video was just to discuss on how flyweight is used. Now, again, the mixture of different design patterns we will see when you will discuss the LLD videos. These videos are primarily to discuss the individual concepts and that too in a very easy fashion. That is the reason we took a very simple example, not complicating stuff, but always imagine that, okay, uh, you have different languages where you, whenever you, you know, whenever you pass things, you make copies of them and not passing them exactly by value. So, okay, what we did, uh, we just simply have an expression type. So obviously there's a lot of memory savings because imagine I have 1000 particles, so I don't have to make 1000 red explosions. I just only make it once. If I have blue explosions, okay, make it once. If I have red, um, you know, red enjoy, make it once. Blue enjoy, make it once. Like this, I will make it. So it is just one particle type instance for all the blue particles if I plan to make one. So this will reduce the memory a lot. And that's the entire essence. That particle now has a particle type, which I will use rather than using individual, you know, let's, let's, let's forget about string. Let's rather than using individual color and sprite. So, and again, uh, it will help the factory will help me generate to a specific particle types. Cool. And so what we saw, we simply saw that we will have super efficient memory. Uh, because of that, the, you know, the drill down effect will be better performance, better maintenance. And obviously with that scalability can also increase because now you're managing things separately outside and not hampering your main piece of code. So this entire logic is simply outside. If you maybe want in future that, uh, you know, let's say I will create two, but uh, maybe, you know, maybe something if you want in business, then you can do the logic changes here itself and your main thing, which means the main particle creation one, again, let's say particle creation one, this will not be touched. Again, as I mentioned, there are multiple ways this, this, this can be extended and scalable. So yeah, take on that part. And again, some real life use cases are text editors. You know, you have different font, color, style, special commands, uh, which you can, let's say special um, things to different characters, which you can give and anything of this sort, you can cache it here, right? For different specific characters and use it just once for all the characters. Same thing game, game development, we have different things, you know, tiles, particles, visual effects, characters. I can do that. Same way for graphic applications and web browser. You know, whenever I render some elements, I can speed up the page loads by reducing memory consumption by caching certain things which can be just used once. And with that, we conclude by saying that the flyweight design pattern optimizes the memory usage by simply caching things which are repeating and which are intrinsic, which means that these are bound to repeat. With that, just making sure that uh, I, with like large number of similar objects can now be done with one simple object. Cool. I hope you guys liked it again, uh, making sure that uh, we assume here that the repeating thing can be pretty complex and can be made by new keyword which will obviously make sure that any specific object will be created by using a new keyword. And I am just kind of referencing that bro, use that same object which was created rather than using the new one. Here, as I mentioned, we took string just because it's simple to, you know, um, understand. But obviously behind the scenes, imagine that if Java would not have done your string tool which java has then how would you have done the same thing for the objects so imagine you have objects here 
you know, you know specific uh, objects let's say uh, sprite object which which has something which and let's say you create any sprite by using a new keyword so obviously you have to handle that separately and that is in by flybit cool i hope you guys let it make sure that we the light target of 250 likes and see you in the next video then goodbye take care bye bye